I don't think anyone's really surprised that Wesley Strader caught him today. Uh, I, think, <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> I think the most impressive thing, though, is that you, throughout the course of each day, have actually improved your weights, which I don't think any of the other anglers have done. There's always been a little stumble. What do you think that is? It, it you know, it's just fishing by the seat of my pants. You know, it's just uh, like today, I, I went up shallow and I had four, I had two pretty good ones up shallow. And, you know, in about an hour into being up shallow, I said, you know what? I said, I can't win doing this. I mean, I can't, eat, I probably can't make the cut doing this. So I just, I switched gears and I went out deep and finally got on a place I've been trying to get on for two days. And that's where the bulk of my weight come from. Now, the, the other interesting thing is, so you go out there, you catch some fish uh, on a spot you've been wanting to get on, and you know they started firing for you. But other guys have kind of had the opposite effect, right? They've had the spots and well, the fish are leaving. What, I, I are think new fish coming of, in there? No, I, I think what it is, a lot of the guys, I mean, I, I don't know. I won't know until we see the video or whatever, but uh, I, I got keyed in on something today. It was really crucial, and uh, we'll elaborate on that a little bit more sure, tomorrow. Sure. Uh, but it's a really specific deal what I figured out today and uh, hopefully it'll hold up. And this is something you stumbled on actually during tournament hours, not no, knew yeah, about it I in mean, practice? Everything that I've done in practice, you know, I've actually caught some fish. You know, I, I, I mark brush piles just like everybody mm -hmm. else, but I got on a little shell bed deal. I mean, I've been fishing shell beds and with no brush around it. But okay. today, you know, we had that front go through last night, mm -hmm. you know, it rained pretty hard. and. I knew they was gonna reposition around those piles or in those piles, so that's what I, I had been catching a lot, you know, I've been doing a lot of things. I've been fishing hydrilla, I've been fishing, you know, brush piles, I just, I got a smorgas, I've been <laughs> flipping mats, I've been doing all, I've Doesn't been, surprise me. I've got 15 rods rigged up, and when I go to a different area of the lake, I put those rods up where I don't get it in my head that I'm gonna use them, and I, I use the rods I have on my deck. Now, with, uh, with what you're doing, it, it seems like there's been these kind of bite windows. We haven't had a lot of current this week, and we've had wind. The only problem is it's going against the current. And, and this, this is going to go back to what I was talking about. I think a lot of these guys are fishing these piles way too fast. Okay. And that's one of the deals. It ain't, it's, you know, I know some guys are making one or two casts and leaving. Oh, yeah. And it's not, it, it's, it's, it's something I'm doing that's really... So it's not really even more of a matter of, <laughs> I pulled up on this spot at the right time. Yeah, it's just it's, the way you're it's presenting just the, way the bait. I'm presenting the bait and, and actually the bait itself too. Okay, which we'll find out more about tomorrow? Yes, sir. <laughs> well, Wesley, man, uh, right now it seems like you're on top of the world. You're crushing it over 21 pounds today. Good luck to you tomorrow, man. Appreciate it, man.